And even though the shutdown is over, it still has some lasting effects, especially for the government employees who went five weeks without being paid. NBC Charlotte Savannah Levins now joining us with more. Savannah. Yeah, Xavier, five weeks, that's a long time. The good news is that we're now hearing from White House officials that those 800,000 federal employees, 6,000 right here in our area in North Carolina, who were not paid during the shutdown, will receive their back pay paychecks by the end of this week. They're saying that's the ideal situation. Standing here on the campus of Johnson C. Smith University right now because U.S. Congresswoman Dr. Alma Adams just gave her state of the district address, it just wrapped up a couple of seconds ago. Unsurprisingly, shutdown was a major focus of her speech here tonight. Representative Adams expressing her concerns about the impacts here locally. Airline delays because TSA agents haven't been paid, although we just checked and we're not seeing too many delays out of Charlotte Douglas right now, so that's good news. Of course, all those other federal employees who haven't been paid, though, as well. The Congresswoman says she's relieved that this is over, at least for now. Sadly, the president could have accepted Friday's deal more than 35 days ago. Hardworking Americans would not have had to suffer through, through missing paychecks and worrying about paying their bills or their next meal or their mortgages. President Donald Trump saying that ending this shutdown was far from a concession. He says he did this to give relief to those workers, but he also says that if a deal is not made for that border wall in the next 19 days, a shutdown 2.0 could be in the works. So a lot of uncertainty here tonight. For now, that's all we know. Reporting live from Johnson C. Smith University, Savannah Levins, NBC Charlotte. Savannah, the clock is ticking yet again. Thank you for that report.